Hello YouTube people, this video is from the series where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap analog watches from Aliexpress trying to find some good ones. And this is the last one. Th this I'm done. <laughs> I have done enough. I have destroyed several watches. I have found some nice surprises as well. And I still have four of them left. And I, I'm sorry, I, I don't feel like making separate reviews for them anymore. I just gonna make them in one video and and be done with them. That's that's enough. So quickly, this one, then this one, uh, then this Yazola watch, and this very interesting one. So quick review, just you know, honestly, skip this video, please skip this video. I'm just making this just to get it done, get it out of the way, and there will be only one video left with ultra cheap watches very short one you're gonna like it trust me now let me show you what watches i still have waiting in line for you proper watches like for example this amazing boltony incredible watch uh also i'm waiting for casio mq24 with black dial to arrive really lo looking forward uh, also gonna do review on this amazing g-shock amazing watch by the way also this casio wall timer on my wrist right now I have this watch on my wrist for several days in a row right now. I just don't want to take it off. It's it's amazing watch. Really going to be positive review of this one as well. Also, one simple watch watch is arriving. It's it's that's why I like it. It's very simple. It's very nice watch. That one is arriving. Also, two Adidas die watches are arriving. Rather interesting ones. Uh, one is old version black Adidas die diver watch, cheap one but I'm just interested to see how it looks like in person. Another one is that turtle thing, but with white wavy dial of some kind. I'm also very interested to see how it looks like in person. And uh, something else is arriving. I don't even remember anymore, but anyway, reviews gonna be coming and coming. And right now I just wanna get these watches out of the way. So let's get them done. Let's start with the cute one. This one looks a little bit like Casio MQ24. That's why it looks cute. The problems are that hands are too short for this watch and generally feels very cheap. This one is the fancy one. Looks elegant and classy, but it's very big. It's a dinner plate of a watch. I will call this one the quintessential women's fashion watch. Uh, this one... I would call a geeky fashion watch, <laughs> geeky fashion watch. Interesting idea, interesting take on a watch, but it looks unfinished. And for that reason, it does look ultra cheap as it is. This one, even my wife says, this one looks not bad. This is the pretty one, uh, except it's also ultra, ultra big, very, very big watch. And that's how they look in the natural light. A dinner plate of a fashion watch. <laughs> Actually, this one looks pretty good. Very interesting black dial. And the cute one. This one, interestingly, only this one has some dust under the glass. The other ones are fine. And the uh, geeky fashion watch. This one has some potential. I respect the idea of doing something differently. But I think this watch could benefit from something you know, from interesting chaptering or something on the dial. Right now it's a little bit too empty. It, it looks as cheap as it is, sadly. And this one, a quintessential women's fashion watch, a dinner plate of a watch. I actually like how big watches like this look on a woman's wrist. I don't know, that looks very feminine in my opinion. Just for fun, I have overdressed a little bit. And to be honest, even those ultra cheap watches look nice right now. <laughs> I look like I'm one of those super fancy YouTube channels about watches who use a lot of very fancy words. So you know what? Let's do a little bit of that. These time pieces have originated in China, the quintessential motherland of ultra cheap goods. These super affordable watches are made out of one of the most used materials on earth called Chinese. The architecture of these time pieces resemble the conventional look of a dress watch, which could be a very solid addition to anyone's collection for exceptionally affordable price point. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I won't do this ever again. 
I, I'm not trying to make fun out of any YouTube channels. To be honest, I actually like those fancy YouTube channels quite a lot. Anyway, let's move on back to back to these watches. Let's take a better look up close. This one has a little bit of dust on the dial. I'm not even sure if that's dust or just some imperfection on the dial. Hands are way too short for the size of the dial. How does it look like all around? Well, nothing too bad, nothing too bad. How is the crown action? Super jumpy, super jumpy crown action. Wow, I, I even struggled to set it on 45. Wow, jumps quite a bit, quite a bit. How is the strap? It's nice, but it is as cheap and nasty as it can possibly be. Even look at the stitching. How is the quality control for you? Yeah, made of Chinese. Okay, let's move on to another watch, the pretty one. This one, I like the dial of this one. Very interesting dial, looks looks actually pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like those sloping edges. Yes, Zola. How is the crown action? A little bit better. Crown action is a little bit better. Sensitive, but it's not that jumpy. Although I do struggle to set it accurately on 45. It's, oh, and it jumps quite a bit. Okay, nothing unusual. The strap is it's okay, I guess, for the price. The inside is unbreathable, very plasticky. Initially feels very stiff, but it wears out very well. And it's actually comfortable when you start wearing this watch. It's fine. Now the quintessential women's fashion watch. Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's it's just no a little bit big, a little bit big. Let's push in the crown. Yeah. Also sloping edges. I believe it's basically the same as Yazola. Yeah, the same case. It's just different brand name. How is the strap? Strap feels super flexible. Actually, pretty nice. But the inside of the strap feels like it's made out of paper. Can I break it? No, it's it's holding up pretty pretty well. Hmm, it's not a bad strap actually. It's like paper of some kind, soft paper. It feels breathable, very flexible. Well, strap is it's kind of good. It's kind of good for for the money. Now, the geeky fashion watch, the very interesting one. Let's push in the crown. Oh, hold on a second. I forgot to check the crown action on this one. How is the crown action? Mm, it's not bad. Very well dampened. Super sensitive though, but doesn't feel too jumpy. Let's set it accurately on 45. Nah, move on, move on. How is this one? The crown action. <laughs> it's rather interesting to see those hands dancing around oh we found some dust spectacle under the hold on is it under yeah it's under the glass no surprise there chinese dust special chinese dust you can't find those chinese dust anywhere in europe or america they come from china china dust anyway how is the case matte finish black the strap, the, yeah, the inside is also like paper. I can almost break it down with my nail. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. Okay, wow, durability is just amazing. It's just amazing durability. Chinese and falling apart. Hmm, not so good, not so good. Well, the design of this watch, it's very interesting, but I feel it could benefit greatly from interesting chaptering or something going on on the dial. That's, that's, you know what, that's enough. I, I don't want to see them anymore. Sure, sure. The conclusions are very simple. All of them are going into nope tier. I don't like how they feel. I don't like how they are built, even though they're super cheap, but you are better off buying used Casio, Timex, Swatch watch. Don't waste your money on super cheap analog watches from Aliexpress. Digital ones could be good, but analog ones, no, and that's enough for me as well. I'm not going to buy them anymore. Now, these three 
Uh, I'm going to give them away to my mom. If she likes them, she can wear them. If she doesn't, she can throw them away. I don't care. And this one, I have something special planned for this, for the cute one. I'm going to send this watch to space. Yes, on the New Year's Eve, I have a special space program for this watch <laughs> coming up on a New Year's Day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.